This is Josh Friedman behind the camera. I'm in Prague, the Czech Republic. I'm speaking with Andrei Prihansky. He is the interior minister of the Free Republic of Liberland. Hi, Andrei. Hi, how are you? Please tell me, what is Liberland? Well, uh, Liberland is a sovereign state uh, that is located between Croatia and Serbia. It was founded by Vitya Dlička, the current president, and it was founded on libertarian principle because for many years it has been a vision of many great people to find such a state. But, of course, it's not easy today. You, you can try to do some, some pretty non-standard non-standard states like floating cities on the on the seas but the actual land where you can found a new state there has been very little little of in the recent years but we did found one of those terra nullius between the serbia and croatia right on the right on the on the river danube and he started this new 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 state uh, and it's uh, started on international law it has uh, provisional government. It has uh, many people asking for citizenships and uh, we are hoping that very soon we will be able to welcome our first inhabitants, our first, first settlers, and to be to be the great shining beacon of libertarian, uh, libertarian views and libertarian politics and put them in practice. Okay, but as it stands now there are issues with both access and recognition. Yes. And there isn't a single country, a UN country that currently recognizes Liberland, is there? That is true. That is true. The process, when we started, uh, we were full of ideals and we were very enthusiastic. But, of course, the process is very lengthy one. Uh, we are, right now, what we are doing, we are working in several states, several key states, for them uh, to get to, to start official talks and to get them to recognize us and promote us in, in their ways, because our main partners right now are the Croatians and Serbians, and they don't claim the land, but it's on their borders, so they are the, they are the parties we need to deal with. So they allow the access, and they, they don't interfere with our territory. Okay, but haven't there been issues with specifically Croatia blocking access to Liberland, arresting some people trying to go there? Haven't yes. there been issues yes. with that? Yes, it's unfortunate there have been such issues. and. We are working on that as well to not them to harass us. But the main problems in the beginning was that they were not allowing people into Liberland because they were guarding the borders of Liberland, which is not on any maps, either Serbian and Croatians, registered as their lands. And neither, neither, neither country says it's their lands. But they were, they, were, they were trying to limit the access to Liberland, which was something we could handle. It was handled because we have the international waterway, the Danube, right next to our country. So that was not such an issue. But lately, because uh, when they saw that we are being serious, we are being very serious, and the ideas we promote, there's been some, some opposition to that. And what we do now, we are striving to make such a deal that would benefit both of our countries, which we believe the existence of Liberland will benefit Croatia greatly. But right now, it's, uh, it's in the political process. We, we are in talks with them. And we see what we can do for them and what they can do for us in the exchange, which is uh, to allow us free access and not hinder the ability to, to build in Liberland. Are there any people living in Liberland right now? No, right now there are not anyone, any, any permanent settlers. And uh, in uh, regard of the citizenship, we, we, what we do, try to do is to not, not uh, give people some false idea because we, for us, it is important for our, that we, we as the citizens, they are fully protected. They have, a, they, have a, they have an option to do with their lives what they want, as, as in, with the libertarian principles and within the constitution of our, our state. And we can't currently guarantee it because of this Croatian interference. So unless, and not, not unless, when we get the Croatians to, to allow us to really settle the land and not interfere with our, with our, with our efforts, then we will, we will be happy to announce that uh, we have the settlers and the citizens and they can start their lives. But right now, right now, we are in the process of dealing with Croatians about that. How can you assure that the Croatian police or military won't just come in and confiscate the land? Uh, as, in, as with any state, it's about real politics. It is not, diff international law is a very powerful tool, but in the end you have to make the deals with every separate country. And it's very easy for them to, to not uh, 
not take us seriously and not, not, um, not respect the law when we have only little people. But what we did in the, in the, in the 10 months that of the existence of Liberland, which is actually right now, we grew to 87,000 applicants for citizenships and even more than 400,000 registered supporters of Liberland. And that is the force that we are right now trying to mobilize all around the world. We have embassies in many countries and they are doing a great job to promote Liberland there, to talk with the political parties of their lands. And we have, we have uh, support from several parties from within the Europe, within the European Union. And those parties are even in European Parliament. And this, this mass of people, this power, can help us with the dealings with the Croatians. So we believe when we get enough power behind us, when we get uh, reliable diplomatic relationships, when we have, uh, we have many people who try to be citizens and we are doing a good job, then we can, as any other country, we can assure that the Croatians won't interfere because it will not be in their interest. It would be very, very scandalous for them to do anything about it because it's not their land. They claim it's not their land. And as, as, as the political power of ours grows, that the, the, the chances of success of Liberland grows as well. So that's what we are working right now. Explain voluntary taxation. Sure. Uh, the idea behind Liberland is that people should not be forced to pay by taxes or any other means for the, for the services and goods they don't want. And the idea of voluntary taxation is this, that for if, if a land wants some service but to be provided by the state, they can, by, by donating voluntary taxes, they can provide for this service. But if they do not, if they are not interested in the service at all, they don't provide the money, or they, out, they use the private companies. And it could be a range of issues. It could be health insurance, it could be uh, fire insurance. And there is only very, very limited uh, areas that we want to be responsible, as a state, responsible for, which is uh, diplomacy, which is uh, territorial control, which is, uh, which is a law. And only in those areas we will provide for the citizens. In all the others, if they want it, they can donate the voluntary tax and it can be private or state. But we want to limit those, those areas as well. We want most of it to be privatized. How is Liberland going to develop? Isn't it just a very small slither of land about, what is it, about well, seven square yeah. kilometers or something? The land is three times as big as Monaco. And you look at the Monaco now and you see that, and Monaco is not a, not a great place to build. And Liberland itself, it's on the flatlands, it's right next to the international waterway, so it's easy to get the material in. Uh, but we believe that the incentive for people to move there and build there is so big that they would overcome obstacles in, let's say, natural, natural re the lack of natural resources and, uh, and maybe the, the inhospitability of the land. They will overcome this because what we are offering is such a big incentive. And the land itself, it's in, uh, it's in uh, great climate. Uh, it is a flat land, so it's very easy to build. There, the only thing that, we, that needs to be done is that it's currently, it's currently forested, so the forest has to be moved, moved down, but that is no problem at all. And it can be very easily developed because we can bring in the material, even if the other countries would not want us to allow this, we can easily bring the material by the time. Okay, because you're offering this tax haven, there's definitely a possibility that Liberland will run afoul of other governments. If you do actually start bringing in businesses, then how are you going to handle your relations with other governments? They're not going to like that you're offering this tax haven. Well, we believe that Liberland can, can, can get the best people from all around the world to help us with this. And it's happening right now. So, yes, it is about real politics. It is about diplomacy and making the best deals with the other countries. And some countries are better at it than the others. Some of them have great, great conditions for, for tax havens, and they have great relations with other countries. Some of them don't. But we believe, and it's a work in progress, of course, but, and, and let me be clear, we are talking about long-term development. We believe that at the, at the, when the time comes, we will be able to attract the best people to handle those kind of relations with the other countries, even regarding tax havens and such similar status. Okay, in the near future, what's coming up? Is there a first anniversary or something? Yeah, there is a first anniversary, and uh, we are having a conference. It's very exciting. It will be announced very soon. We are having it uh, right in the area next to Liberland, 
So anybody can come. Not in Liberland. No, not in Liberland. Bill, and why is that? Well, the problem is that we don't want to get people in trouble unnecessarily. So we are trying to, do, to, to we have a very good relations with Croatia. We, do, we, we are cooperating on, on this in, in the conference. We are, we are in talks with them to do it in a way that they would allow it without harassing our citizens. And also it would, um, it would mean that the, for them it won't be a burden. Right? Because, let's face it, they are burning a lot of money on guarding this, this border of Liberland. And we, have, we want to have a good relations. But, and we have them with the local communities. The local mayors are very excited about Liberland because they can see how much tourists were there in, in the summer and what it brought. And a lot of them actually grew up uh, to, to like the idea of libertarian principles. Some of them they haven't never heard about them before. So we are working with the Croatians to make sure that this conference will go as planned. And the best way how to do that is to have it in Croatia, not in Liberland itself. Okay, and when is the conference? Well, the, 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 the date is set to be on, on the 15th of, of April, but it may change because there is, a, there is some, some issues that need to be solved. It's not that easy. So, yeah, first date I can tell you is 15th of, 15th of April, but wait for our announcements. We will announce it in advance. Okay, anything else you'd like to add about Liberland? Well, uh, I definitely would like to invite all that believe in liberty above all to support us, to get involved in Liberland, get, get in touch with the embassies in your local country, get to know the project and if you like it, and uh, get in touch with us. If, if you have, uh, especially, especially if you can help with the diplomatic connections, if you are an investor, that is a, is a perfect opportunity for you to help build this new nation. And we, make no mistake, we will do it. We will do it. So please, join up. If you like the course, pick, uh, do it with us. Join us and let's make Liberland happen. Let's make it reality. Okay, thank you. Thank you.